Okay, now one of the important things to be able to do with this kind of a layout is to make adjustments to the graphics after the fact. Um, for instance, if you decide you want different labels on one of these buttons, or your different text up here, or you don't like this uh, background color any longer, um, all of those things uh, are things that we should be able to do pretty easily uh, if we're just a little bit careful. So I'm going to switch back now um, over here to Fireworks and I can see where I was working now. The important thing here is I can change pretty much any of these graphics as long as I don't change um, what's underneath the slices or the slices themselves. So I'm going to lock this whole web layer up and just turn it off Okay, so I can see my underlying uh, layout. So first I think I'm going to just change the background color. This canvas color I think is a little bit too annoying. So uh, that if I click out here and deselect everything I can come right down to the canvas uh, color picker, open that up. Now uh, I think this orange color might be okay but I just want to lighten it up so I can go to the color wheel button here on this palette and um, it already was pretty light. So let's try something else. Maybe I could darken it up. It's just a little bit too strong for me. Okay, so a little darker possibly, or I could even just go to see if I can. I could sample just maybe more of a tan color than that orange. Okay, so I've chosen a little different color there. So I'm changing what the graphics look like, but I haven't moved anything around, uh, or I haven't changed anything under the slice. So with just that much done, I'm going to just do File Export and uh, make sure it'll want to go to the same place here. All the settings are the same and I'm going to export it and it'll want to copy over. Okay, So it's going to copy over the layout.htm file but that's okay because we've already converted or, or we've already created a template so it's not going to copy over our template. Say OK and then it wants to copy over the graphics too so it'll copy over all the graphics and this is the, this is the genius part. It's going to copy over all those graphics so now when I go back to Dreamweaver um, Oh, that didn't come out quite right. Uh, let's preview this and see. It might just be updating here. Let's preview in the browser. Okay, so uh, when I did that, see what happened here? Um, so the graphics changed, but for some reason it didn't change the background color inside of Dreamweaver in the HTML on the template. So um, that's a perfect thing to do right at this point. So uh, the graphical part has changed. So I need to go find out what color that was that I picked. I'm going to go back to Fireworks. And this color right here that I picked for the background. Okay, let me just see if I, if I put my cursor over that. I should be able to um, get a sample of that. So you can see there it is D-E-C-B-A-A. -A. Okay, I think we can remember that. Go back to Dreamweaver. And under Page Properties, there's a spot here for me to put in background color. Um, D E C B B A. Let's see if that was it. Oh, I got to go to the template. All right, so let me flick over to the template here. Go to page properties on the template, and under appearance, let's go to background color. D E C B B A. Apply. We should be able to quickly tell if it worked. I can see out there that I have that change. Um, say. OK to that. Now before we get too far here, I, I think I've got a little difference here in color. Um, let's preview this in the browser um, and have a quick look if it's noticeable. So um, a little bit better, but I can still see the difference in the HTML hexadecimal color that came in versus the graphical color here under the shading. So not ideal, um, but We'll come. We'll worry about that a little bit later. Uh, okay, so let's do another uh, change here. Let's say I'm ready to change my text here. This is my new site text. I've got a name, and I want to put that in there. So go back to Fireworks, find down here where I've got that uh, text. So I'm going to unlock that bit of text. Double click inside of there, and um, I can type in here what I want my title to really say. Okay, so I'm going to put this title on. Again, I haven't changed the slices around. Going to export that out. And again, it wants to copy over all the same settings. Yep, let it copy over, let it copy over. And when I go back to Dreamweaver, 
that graphic is already um, in place. Because Dreamweaver doesn't know what these graphics look like, uh, Dreamweaver just knows the names of the graphics. So if the graphic changed its appearance, it has no effect here. As long as the graphic sa firework saves the graphic in the same place and in the same name, it'll automatically already be here inside of Dreamweaver. Okay, so a way we can update our graphics without too much trouble.